And before we go ahead and style the nav navigation bar, right below the sticky nav, we're gonna add a flex. And this will hold the code for the rest of our page. So all we need to do here is say children. So anything that we add in our index.js, so anything inside of here, will go inside of this flex. So we're gonna style this too. I'm just going to paste in some styles. So this will be the HTML element will be main. We're gonna justify the content to the center. The flex direction will be column. And then the background color will be the color mode of this variable, which if we go up here, if it's light, it is a white, and if it's dark, it is a dark gray. And then we have some padding in margin. Now we can't, it can't find variable color, and this is referring to the text color, so let's go ahead and add that. We'll say const color, and we want to say, if it's light, make it black, and if it's dark, make it white. So that is just the default text color. So if I just add some text here and make sure that we actually import that uh, React, there we go. As you can see, it's coming through as black, but if we change the color mode, it changes to white and the background changes as well. But as you notice, the rest of it does not change. So we need to fix that in uh, app.js. Remember, I noted that earlier. We're gonna go back and fix that in just one second. First, I wanna finish the rest of the container. And the only thing left we have in here is the styles on the sticky nav bar. So again, I'm going to paste in some styles just to save some time, but you can go ahead and play around with these uh, and see what they do. But all we're doing here is centering the nav bar, adding space between the items and the dark mode switch, and then adding some padding and margin. So pretty basic stuff. And we also gave background color to it. So now that changes too. So you'll notice we are on the dark mode right now, and it's only changing for the parts of the screen that we defined. So the nav bar and uh, this strip here. So if we go ahead and inspect element and we take a look at the body, notice how this right here, underscore, underscore, next, covers the entire page. So we want to add styles to that next to one, take up the entire height of the page, and then two, we want to change the color of that based on our color mode. So we can do that easily if we open up app.js. So we can use what's called global. Let me go ahead and import this. And then how we use that is before we return this my app, we're gonna say return. And in here is where we will add this global styling. So we can say styles equals and then in here, we'll say CSS and then the back ticks again, just like that. And then inside of here, we can add CSS. So I'm gonna paste in some styles, just like I've been doing. So all this is doing, like I said, we are accessing the next ID on the DOM and then we are adding these styles to it. So we're adding display flex, we're adding the flex direction column we're adding a min height of 100 view height, so that makes the height of, um, of the page the entire height of the screen. And then we're changing the background color based on the color mode. So if the color mode is light, make the background white. If it's not, make it uh, dark gray, because that must mean it's dark mode. And we need to uh, get this variable. We're actually not, we actually don't have that yet. Let's first copy this because I forgot to wrap this in its own const. So we'll say const global style, pass in children. 
some arrow notation, and then paste in the return statement. And then above here, we need to grab a reference to our color mode, just like that. Now we can use this variable, which will have the current color mode and change the background. But we still have one more step. We actually need to use this. So if we go down here to my app, we're just gonna wanna wrap that up, uh, around this page props component. So copy the component, global style, and paste the component back in there. Now if we go back here, Refresh, let's hope everything worked. And the reason there's nothing here is because we passed in the children here, but we didn't actually use it. We're gonna want to add that right below this global. We'll say children. And then the last thing is we need to remove this because this is actually a self closing tag. So clean that up, format that. Now if we go back here, there we go, everything's coming through. And now if we change the color mode and it's not working because we have a slight spelling error, this is styles. So fix that. Now if we hit the color mode, perfect. As you can see, the entire screen is now black. So we have the 100 view height making uh, the height of the screen the entire view. And then we're changing the that next ID background color to the color mode. Okay, awesome. So that is looking really good. The last thing that I want to do in this video is add a couple more things to the index page and build it out just a little bit more. Okay, so inside of index.js, let's first go ahead and import some more chakra UI. Um, elements. So use color mode, heading, text, flex, and stack. And we'll have the container already. So let's go ahead and use the color mode right here. So we'll do as we've been doing. Const color mode is equal to use color mode. And then we need to declare only one variable here. And this will be color secondary. We'll set the light equal to gray 700 and the dark will be gray 400. And that will be for the secondary text. So any, any text here we'll use that for. So the headings will be a bit uh, darker than the subtext. So we have our container. We're gonna use this next head. So if I go here and say, head, we can pass in a title. So let me just say home, Benjamin Carlson. And you can see that come through up here. Let's remove this text for now. And then there's two more elements that we're going to want to add to kind of aid the container. And that is a stack and a flex. So we're gonna use the stack first and then the flex. And then everything we want to put on the page will go inside of here. So for example, we'll say heading. Maybe we'll say, hi, I'm Benjamin Carlson. And then for the text, we're just gonna use some dummy text. So let me go ahead and paste some dummy text in here. There we go. And then we're gonna change the color to this to color secondary. And that'll make it a bit lighter um, than this text. And you see it's coming through kind of weird. So we need to actually add some styling to the stack and to the flex so that they appear on top of each other and not next to each other. First off, we want the stack to be main. We're gonna say spacing is equal to eight. We're gonna say justify content. Uh, we'll make that center. We'll align the items. We'll say flex start. Our margin will be zero auto for rem and auto. 
and that's top, right, bottom, left. Our max width, this is important, will be 700 pixels. And our padding X, which is the padding to the left and the right, uh, will be two. And then for the flex, so that makes everything condensed a little bit. We still need to make the flex column. So let's do that. We'll say flex direction. Whoops. Equals column. That should put on top of each other. And then we'll say justify content. Flex start. And we want to align items. Flex start as well. And then we're going to make the max width here also 700 pixels. Now we want to add some padding to this heading, uh, or margin rather. So we'll say margin bottom. We'll say two. Now we'll put some margin between those two. So that's looking pretty good right now. Um, let's just recap what we did in this video. We implemented our dark mode. We have our nav bar, and then we have uh, just some basic stuff on this index page. But the foundation for this site is already built. So we extended our theme. We added what we needed to in document and app.js, um, and everything's looking good. And just to show you what I mean with the nav bar, it is a sticky nav bar. So if we make the height smaller and I scroll, you'll see it sticks to the top. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to actually build out our blog or start building that out. And that will be done with MDX remote pages. And before I go, I wanna mention that all the code for this video and all the videos in this series can be found on my GitHub. This is the direct link. Uh, Next.js Chakra personal website, YouTube. So all the code for each video I'll push after. So it'll be separated by commit. So if you watch the first video, this one, and you want to see the code for only this video, you can check out that commit. In future videos, if you want to look at uh, the code for those videos only or go back a little bit, that you can do that by looking at uh, the commits you want to look at. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.